Over the next year or two, we began to bicker more frequently. We argued over the silliest things and would make up. This continued for a few years. We were mostly good, but would still sometimes argue or fight over the silliest things. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue, Quick and Dirty Number 9. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper to the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. No toe dipping here, let's dive straight into the excitement. I met my wife online about six years ago. As of 2020, approximately 30% of married couples in the United States met online, according to researchers from Stanford University. I met my wife online around six years ago. We quickly became very attached and spent a significant amount of time online together. We learned and shared just about everything imaginable about each other. Eventually, we met in person. And not long after, we decided to live together. Only a few months transpired before we were married. Slap to the back of the head. No, no, no. As I have repeatedly said, if your goal is to maximize your chances of a successful, long-term, committed relationship, you need to spend a good four to five years getting to know her. Most people can't maintain a fake mask for that long. In addition, it allows you to see them under most situations, to have a good sense of their value systems and if their actions match up to what they profess to be. In today's dating environment, you need to watch for red flags and evaluate them rationally. For the general population, anything less than this, you're setting yourself up to become a failure statistic. We were inseparable. I never experienced admiration and love like I had. She made me feel amazing and helped her through her toughest times, and we grew together. After a couple of years, we had a baby, and things were never better. It was us against the world we imagined well. Okay, I have to ask, was the baby planned or did she suddenly miss a pill or, oh my, my birth control failed and I don't know what happened? If so, lesson time here, guys. This is why you always control the birth. Once your seed leaves your body, our gynocentric system and society strip you of all rights. If she decides to have the baby against her will, your wishes don't matter under the law in most places. Over the next year or two, we began to bicker more frequently. We argued over the silliest things and would make up. This continued for a few years. We were mostly good, but would still sometimes argue and fight over the silliest things. Pay attention here, guys. He said, we began to bicker more frequently. We argued over the silliest things and would make up. If this is happening to you, time to start looking at her behavior and start looking for indicators of an affair or she is checking out of the relationship. Then suddenly, a few days ago, she tells me it's over. She has been flirting with another guy she met online a couple of weeks ago. Now, we both know it was longer than a couple weeks. Usually, cheaters never tell you the truth or the full truth or they trickle truth you. I could have never imagined her to be so heartless. Slap to the back of the head. You can't imagine it because you never really knew who she was. In your desperation for companionship, hey, dude, we all want to be 
joined at some point or part of something or to have somebody at our side. It's our nature, it's our species, it comes with the biology. You rushed into a relationship without fully vetting her. You've been in love with the idea of who she wanted you to think she was. Think about it. If she was the woman you believed her to be, she wouldn't be doing this to you now, would she? She's willing to leave me and our baby to go have fun with another man and even make plans to go see him. Wow. This is worse than I thought. I have been having a very difficult time processing this and coping. While also taking care of a baby, I don't know what's going on. All I know is I hurt. Okay, I'm sorry this happened to you, my brother. Cheating, however, is a choice, and she chose this path. Now you need to compartmentalize and do what's best for your daughter. This sounds to me like the cycle of narcissistic relationship, which often follows a predictable pattern. 1. The idealization phase. In the beginning stages of the relationship, they will put on their best face, charming and love-bombing their partner. Oh, and that would be you. They may appear to be attentive, and caring, experts at making you feel special. This phase is often intense and moves quickly as the narcissist seeks to secure their partner's commitment. 2. Devaluation Phase She felt secure in the relationship, meaning, I got him and he ain't going nowhere. Her true colors started to emerge. Remember, you said, we began to bicker more frequently. We argued over the silliest things and would make up. I'm going to assume you're not the one who started those fights. She would become more critical, belittling, and emotionally or psychologically abusive. Your sense of self-worth is gradually eroded, and you may feel trapped in the relationship. Three. The discarding phase. After years of devaluation, she may begin to discard you. This usually involves having an affair and may justify her actions by blaming you or portraying herself as a victim. 4. The replacement phase. As she moves on to a new partner, she'll idealize them in the same way she did to you. This starts the cycle anew, with her seeking fresh sources of admiration and validation. She likely went through the idealization phase during the initial courtship and marriage of the two of you. Over time, she may become emotionally distant or abusive towards you and devaluating you. After six years of marriage and the birth of a child, she found a new source of admiration in the affair partner leading her to discard you and initiate a replacement phase with the new partner, i.e. the new sucker. Here's what I think you should do. Immediately see a lawyer, draw up a document that gives you full custody, and tell her you need it just in case something happens while she's away and you need to do medical stuff. Have your lawyer do it in such a way that down the road, it will help in an abandonment case and divorce showing she ran off to see her affair partner. Think strategically. You want to get her out of your life and keep your daughter. At the same time, you want to make it as difficult as possible for her to come back down the road and claim custody then slam you with child support because things didn't work out. Don't be her backup plan. Don't put yourself in the position of giving her cash and prizes for bad behavior. If she wants to leave, tell her you want her to be happy and 
Oh, by the way, sign this stating that you're going out of state, leaving my daughter with me in full custody in case it's questioned and for any reason. Just sign here, baby. Thank you. She cheated on you. She cheated on your daughter. And she deserves no honor on the battlefield. In the family court system, you are playing against the house. And the house uses a stacked deck. Therefore, do whatever it takes to legally win. In this game, there are no prizes for second place. And your daughter's future is at stake. Go be a dad provide, and more importantly, protect her at all costs. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least two friends. If you don't like this video, well I thank you for watching this long and stopping by. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online and you think I should cover it, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up so more people can see my work which helps me to continue to make content.